Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com, and I'm here with Dave Helgeson, who is the show promoter for the Seattle RV Show, and Dave is also a very avid RVer. So I thought maybe we could talk about some of our favorite RV experiences. Yes. I mean, we, we both kind of do it differently. Yep. So how would, you, how would you describe your favorite? My favorite thing about RV experiences is... is you know, it's, and you, I've, I see you read your vlogs about this too. You know, you're sitting in, you're sitting in camp in the morning. You can make your cup of coffee, in my case, a cup of tea. You can watch the sun come up over the horizon. You can just enjoy the moment as you're planning your day. You're, you're in no rush to get anywhere. It's very leisurely. And that's, that's how I start my day every day. And then as we get going, you know, we might spend a day hiking or walking or exploring whatever it is. And at, at, in, late afternoon come back to the rv and we're home we're not having to go to the hotel or check in that's it we're home where we can you know have a little happy hour have a mm -hmm. cold pop yeah uh, you know play the nachos or whatever and 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 just rest kind of sit outside and, yeah. and watch the sunset we, pop, we sun pop go down, down our lounge and, chairs that's typically our afternoon and and yeah, yeah dinner and you're more of a, a a boondocker kind of guy you're out in the public lands and i know we've talked about it a lot and um uh, so you're out living off the, your, uh, your onboard systems. Seldom see another RV or out there. You're just out in open public lands where I am the kind of guy that kind of, as a journalist for so many years who was writing travel articles, I would move around. So I seldom stay more than a day or two in a place. So, um, I mean, I do make, make exceptions when you get into one of those beautiful, beautiful yeah. places. I mean, we were in a, uh, this last summer on a four and a half month trip on a, uh, all the way to Nova Scotia from Seattle. And there was one night we went into this little um, uh, restaurant, seafood restaurant in a little town in Nova Scotia. I mean, you're talking 500 people. <laughs> and started talking to the woman there and, uh, and she said, uh, and we told her we didn't have a place to stay so we were gonna go off a ways. And she said, oh, you can stay here. So, and by the way, there's a, there's a crab feed at the local uh, church. So we, uh, right on a cliff, a lighthouse next to us, we went up to the crab feet and had um, amazing, huge plate of crab, or you could have um, lobster. We mm -hmm. went with the crab. And then back, and it was, I went out and took photos, you know, just before where the sun was going down, and then again got up early in the morning, and it was just one of those quiet, perfect places. You know, and it, that would be kind of my perfect spot and then we just moved on to the next place the next day mm -hmm. and a whole new experience a whole so. new experience and you lose track of the ones you have so many good experiences you lose track of the first ones you did because it's just an ongoing i i find that um one of the biggest problems with me with rving is i go to so many places that when i get home months later you know how you kind of have this image of a place will pop uh -huh. into your head and I mean, this last trip was four and a half months, you know, 20, what, 11,000 miles, 21 states, three Canadian provinces. You can imagine all the images, all the places. Exactly. And I will just uh, all of a sudden flash on some place, and it drives me crazy because I've got to think of where it was. And sometimes it's really hard. But, you know, I mean, that's a great that's problem a great to have. Problem to have. But, um, yeah, I mean, when I came back from four and a half months, and that's, that's a long trip, but so many of the Midwest, and Canada, Niagara Falls, um, Montana Glacier National Park, I mean, it's just, it, it, you know, for somebody like me with a short attention span, you just, your every view's different out your, your window, a new museum, new yep. people. Yep. Every day's a different adventure. Yeah, so, and so you have the same thing. Same thing, and it, 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 you mentioned, you know, flashing back. Sometimes you're having a bad day or up in the northwest, it might be gloomy and rainy. You know, you go, go to your happy spot. There's those photos. It's like, oh, yeah, that was so peaceful and tranquil there. I just remember, I remember doing this and, and the memories that you build. And in your case, in our, both of our cases, if we have the time, we can always get in that RV. Exactly. I drive mine, you tow yours, tow and mine. we can head down to the it, southwest, it, exactly. park out on those public lands. Yep. And um, just think about all our friends and back home getting rained exactly. on, and we're down there in our short sleeves and, and our exactly. shorts and sandals. Yeah, no, that's pretty great. So, and the RV is always, you know, in my case, it's always in the driveway, well, yeah. semi ready to go. I mean, the, the, as you mentioned, one of your segments, the, the comfortable camping clothes are in there, yeah. the dishes are in there. It's just some canned food and some water, and we can leave within an hour or so of notice. We get the urge, just like we need to get out of here. For yeah, a day. no, and that's really nice when you just are kind of fed up. You're tired. Yep. It's just rained one too many days. Exactly. You know, you can pack that thing up and be gone. And, and, and of course, 
I know you and I are always looking for an excuse. Yes, so, uh, absolutely. That works. So anyway, that's a couple guys' experiences with RVing, and uh, it really is a, 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 a great, gives you a great lifestyle. sense of, of freedom. So uh, thanks, Dave, for being here. You're welcome.